Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, National Test and Along. It's going to be a very short video, but I think it's going to be a significant video at that. I'm inside of Dapto Mall. Uh, the exit out of Dapto Mall is a bit confusing. I'm wondering what the car's logic would be. Let's try this. Uh, even the parking spaces are quite narrow. So let's see. Yeah, this is right. It has to turn into the... Uh, right here very good but it shouldn't turn left it should be turning right because there's no left turn here it's asking us to turn left no i'm going to say no and i'm going to make it go out like this so already there's a bit of a discrepancy here now this is okay i want it to turn yeah now, will it yield for the... Okay, beautiful. It waited for them. That's lovely. It's going to wait for this lady as well. That's lovely. <laughs> Look at that visualization. Okay, now we're good to go. So it doesn't have shopping cart uh, programmed into itself. That's good. We are going to go straight, but there is this lady with the shopping cart. This is a very bad move by the car. Very bad move by the car. I'm going to take over. Very, very bad move by the car. Okay, that is exactly why we are testing inside of uh, Dapto Mall. This place is full of, uh, full of tight corners. And there are many a mall like this in Australia where uh, the, the, the parking is quite tight. Um, there are cars close by to each other. Uh, there are ramps coming down where the cars will be coming down, like you see on the left. Now it has to turn right. Yeah, perfect. Good. It's very slow and very tentative. Six kilometers an hour. This is a slow, slow path. Now even the exit out is just a little bit difficult as well. Let's see what the car would do. I'll be ready to take over at any time. Uh, the time now is 5.15, so it's not uh, mad, uh, you know, rush hour traffic. So, so people will be a little bit um, forgiving is what I think. Now, here is that exit. You see, it's got a little bit of a uh, sort of a sharp turn. Will it do a curb rash or will it go? Let's wait and watch. Beautifully done till now. Okay, it turns without any problems. It turns. Okay, very well done. Now it needs to go left again. Okay, okay, slightly anticlimactic. I thought there'll be more cars coming on that side. Okay, never mind, never mind. But that's why I wanted to test this. You notice that uh, that the car is a little bit, uh, I'm going to end this and at this roundabout, I'm going to take the U-turn. I'm going to do a UV at the roundabout. I'm going to do a right turn. Right turn there. Okay, a right turn coming up. Oh, it should have waited for that car. Ah, okay. Okay, one more. Okay, it wants to go left here. Okay, we'll allow the car to do that. That's fine. Now, I want the car to go straight over here. I don't want it to go left. I guess if, if left to its own devices, it'll turn left here. But I want it to go straight. It wants to go right. Okay, that's uh, that's okay, I guess. Right is fine too. Right is fine, yeah. Now, I don't understand the logic here. Uh, wh why does the car choose to go uh, right here? I do not know. I do not know, but right is fine too. The reason being, uh, this will become an unprotected right in just a bit. There is a red to the right, uh, but there's a red to going straight as well. But I don't think it will be a protected right turn for the car. Um, sometimes it may be, but I think most of the time it is not a protected right turn. So 
I want to see what the car would do. And you see the you see the amount of traffic that's there. Some people can be a little bit uh, fastidious. People are crossing on a red light. Great. So it should not. Oh, okay, it does have a protected right, eh? Mm, I don't think it'll be a protected right. I think it'll be an unprotected right. That that uh, right red arrow should go away. Yes. Now it'll creep forward. It has to yield for that car. It has to yield for that other car as well. Very well done. 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 Very, very well done. Now, I'm going to come back to the same lane. Let's hit home so that... Uh, uh, Okay, this is an actually a better way, better place to test as well. Let's go to the left uh, because we're going to go back to uh, Dapto Station. But in addition to going to the Dapto Station, uh, we're going to we're going to try and uh, go across there. You can see that there is a lot of traffic there, uh, and it, we need to t turn right. Uh, a T junction right will be there. After doing the Engadine T-junction right, maybe this will be easier. I do not know. Um, Engadine was high-speed traffic, but this is bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic at 5.15. Everybody's going home. I'm ready to take over, but this is bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. Let's see. It needs to do that right onto Bong Bong Road. <clears throat> That's going to be a fun uh, right turn to take. What will the car do? Let's do a bit of a, a jab. Okay. These roundabouts, uh, the car is just mastered, I think. Um, it's doing it really well. Slightly slower than human, but, but definitely doing very well. Now, now it has to turn right. This is going to be a challenging right for the car particularly because there's traffic on the other side and it is unrelenting traffic at 5.15 in the evening. So this is going to be a very, very important challenge. So it is only single carriageway, not dual, uh, but uh, but uh, the, the, the cars which are turning um, through here, they, they have right of way. Now I'm going to turn on full visualization to see what the car would do. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun exercise. Um, I'm ready to take over at any time, just in case. This is going to be a short video, but a very, very important one. Already made a few mistakes. <laughs> but this is going to be fun. Let's see. So if you've not watched my uh, T-Junction Engadine video, it's already on my channel. Do check that out. It is a phenomenal video where the car uses sound logic to go to the opposite right at a T-Junction. An unprotected T-Junction as well. No, uh, no traffic signals. Uh, I know that signal very well. I have taken that right once or twice before and I've always been honked at because... It is so difficult for the car to just stay in the median and people are turning right and it's it's an it's a nightmare that one and there are so many of them in Australia so this is um, this was a very important test now what will the car do here this is a similar situation but this is unrelenting traffic what will the car do here people turning into this lane get right of way from the right over there on the other side now we have to turn right what will the car do? What will I do? I will just turn left and go and take a UV somewhere else. <laughs> but what will the car do now? This is going to be interesting. What sort of logic will it use? It has to be aggressive, but it should not be too aggressive either. So it is a, it is like a, a double-edged uh, sword. As soon as it, it finds a spot, it should go. But it's like a double-edged sword. Now, uh, once um, 
this person in front of me, the Mitsubishi uh, Outlander, after they go across, we'll see what logic the car would use. Um, this is a phenomenal test. Okay, no cars on the right, but there are lots and lots of cars on the left. It can aggressively go now. It can aggressively go now. Will it go? It did not want to go because there's the person turning right here. Okay, will it go? No, because it sees those cars on the over here and over there. Very good, very good. Okay, okay, it's easing up on that side, on the on the other side. It's easing up, but there are a couple of cars coming in. Now is a perfect time to go. It has to be aggressive. Okay. This is good. This is well done. It is not as, as nerve-wracking as the T-junction in Engadine, but this is pretty good. Now, I'm just going to keep going forward because there are two uh, reasonably large-ish um, roundabouts. We'll see how the car does on these roundabouts without, uh, without getting a curb rash. I mean, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Till now, it has been a good run. No curb rashes, even when I put the car through uh, Macca's uh, 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 drive-through, it's been it's been fabulous till now. <laughs> even this left that it took uh, coming out of uh, Dapto Mall was beautifully done. The car is really sure of itself. Now I wonder if a Tesla Model X or a Model S will be as nimble as the Model Three. I know we won't have hardware 4 in our X or S. Of course, we don't have X or S anymore. Uh, but people who already have an X and, and an S or an S, um, eventually they should have a hardware 4. And what will happen then? Will the car be as nimble as the 3? I would love to know. I would love to think so, yes. Uh, I did hire a Model X in the US, uh, in California, uh, in June when... It was uh, FSD 13, was it, I think? Uh, and it was phenomenal. It was a Model X played. It was really good. But the roads there are much wider and there are not as many uh, roundabouts in the US, so it is relatively easier. So it, it negotiated uh, two of the roundabouts. There's one uh, relatively larger roundabout coming up and once we caught, go, go past that, we'll, we'll cut out this video. Uh, so this is a short but very significant video at that. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, thank you everyone who has been watching my videos and supporting me. Uh, I've had the vehicle since Friday. So I have been uh, driving the vehicle for a fair while. On Friday, I, I drove from half past six till about 11 and I kept filming. On Saturday, I drove for about 14 to 15 hours. On Sunday, about 19 hours I drove. Um, and all of them I filmed and, and I'm, I'm going to uh, release them all as videos. And there is an entire playlist on my channel. Yeah, this is the largest roundabout. And we have these roundabouts, dime a dozen here in Australia, in many a suburb. And beautiful, beautiful. I need not have... Uh, need not have... Um, had any doubt at all one more roundabout and then we will close out this video uh, guys all of you phenomenal phenomenal uh, job supporting me and uh, my my videos i've tried to do as many a, a as many as video as possible trying and you know testing out every and all scenarios possible uh, i hope you liked it click on that subscribe button click on that like button leave your thoughts in the comments below I'm absolutely humbled that I had the car. Uh, I have to return the car uh, tomorrow. That's Wednesday. So that is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I had the car for five days. And I have, uh, I, I believe I'll have close to about 20 FSD videos uh, testing different scenarios. I'll see you guys. Another very, very interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.